Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Android 1800 to Panagos once more. Before we start, I also want to point out that I do now have a second YouTube channel, Nivaris RPG, where I play some RPGs. Next one up is Starfield, so if you're interested in that, have a look in the link in the video description to get to my channel and follow me along playing Starfield as well. Now, the last episodes were kind of like interesting as we did um, lose a couple of islands, right? And also tried to stay alive by building us a few more industrial zones to continue the growth as well. So up here we have now a new and growing industry zone in our fair capital. And this is the third industry zone that we have now. This is the second one. And then of course the main industry zone also with the best infrastructure at the moment. Now problem is with those islands we lost, we also lost the resources. And one of the primary resources we absolutely need was on Tovi and that is the fur abundance. We do have the other island here to Mellow Island that has the nitro deposit for the salt peter. I don't care that much about the coal and the iron because we can already import a lot of that ourselves with the Docklands and meet our demands. That is fine. But the fur and especially also the saltpeter are going to be important raw materials in the upcoming uh, tiers that we need, right, of production and in industry. The problem is I can't keep both of these islands. It's not going to be possible. Of course, I can overtake them. I can try to build up a massive defense with 170 influence. We will be really limited though. So either I take both of them and risk losing both of them again, which is a high chance, or I take one of them and try to fortify this as best as possible and have a good chance of actually keeping it. For that, we need to decide what of these two islands has the more valuable resource. We have the fur and we have the nitro. Now, I'm going to need fur in high quantity, nitro in low quantity, but nitro might be actually more valuable. There's also the question of what we want to actually replace here because I think we cannot build another export office for a while now, so I'm actually bound by that. We also need to think about what I want to replace and that is the potatoes, of course. So let's go ahead and actually put the fur in. And we're going to need, if I want to meet demand, um, I, I will need around 300 furs, right? Which would lead to 560 soap. That is a lot. We could also have a look at the saltpeter, where I will only need around 100, right, for a while, which is 81. So as we can see, the ratio is 1 to 1 with the saltpeter, actually. And the fur, it's actually 1 to or 2 to 1, right? So the fur is actually more valuable than the saltpeter. This is interesting for me because that already gives me a nice decision making here now that we can use. So I think fur is going to be the more valuable product for me for a long time. So we could try to take back Tovi once more. There is not that much force here. She's already trying to build up some defenses again. But we have of course some proper ships and I would like to use this opportunity in taking over that island once more. Now we need to be very careful about the whole thing though because she will counterattack, of course the moment we do anything. So let's go in here, take all the weapons we have, take some bricks, some timber and some steel beams because we already need then the the defending um, or the, the building materials, the supplies coming in as well with our way here. All right, let's start the attack. It's actually going to be tricky because she already has two cannon towers active, um, but she has an unupgraded warehouse. So this might come in handy here for us. Uh, not the clipper, please. The clippers can stay outside. I'm even, even contemplating deleting those clippers here uh, soon now because the, the royal galleons are just more valuable. All right, so let's move on. Um, I really don't have any other choice, right? Because the fur is going to be hard. There is an island here with fur abundance, but there's so little space here that I will never meet demand of my uh, growing population. So it is. it needs to be Tovi, right? And the nitro we are getting in then with the Docklands once we need it. So there it is. Um, and let's move in. There's also some red pepper here, but I don't think that I'm going to need red pepper for, uh, for that much longer. All right, while those ships are on the way, um, we need to do something else. I'm struggling a bit with keeping bricks up, right, with all the production and investments that we need to do and also upgrades. So Manola is my main brick delivery now, um, supplier. I think out of the four, we're already using three clay pits and I would like to use the fourth one now as well. So let's go ahead, build us that warehouse just here beside the mineral deposit and the clay deposit. So we can combine that into one then. And we can use then the clay deposit here to get us more clay in. That means I can have two more brick factories 
that we have over there. So probably going to move this one over and I'm going to copy me some two more brick factories over there. We have the Obrero workforce, that is fine. Let's upgrade that warehouse here once more so that we have enough loading ramps. And with that, we push more bricks into Panagos. The brick trade route is still working, right? We might consider upgrading this one to two clippers or one royal galleon. We'll just see about that. All right, meanwhile, ooh, look at that. The pirate is also trying his, uh, her share. And we are, of course, moving in. This is going to be painful, I think. So, taking over this island won't be easy because I'm expecting those darn sea mines already again. And we'll just see how this goes. Yeah, that's a frigate that's getting attacked here, but that should be fine. Uh, let's break formation and try to not move that much. Look at that. We're getting so much damage in already just by moving into, into the harbor area. The frigate took a few blows here. Yeah, and we're not doing a lot of damage. This is going to be harder than you might think. And is there a big baddie or something? Oh, that's the harbor trillery. This, of course, has the highest priority right now because it's doing the most damage here. Ooh, I think I might have also miscalculated a bit. Take down that freaking harbor artillery, please. There you go. Next tower. And the question is, when she sending in her main fleet then to rescue Toby once more? All right, the both towers are down. The problem though is going to be now the trading post for that. We'll need to move a tiny bit again. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't want to be on board of these ships right now because you never know what's in front of your of your ship there in the in the water. All right, now they're attacking the main trading post. And please be gentle. I think that's it though. We are not going to lose another ship here. That's looking good. No more damage from sea mines. That's something I can I can take. And my main ship can already come over there with the building materials. Might also be some nice loot in here now. And by night we take it. Perfect. Once again. And yeah, we are only going to focus on this island here now as my second island in the old world. I will not be able to take any other ones. We do get a bit of money out of this one here too. I could... Oh, this is actually a good one um, for the residences then, right? Chance of rides I don't care about once we start with investors. That's a good boosting here to my investor population. And then we also have, of course, some, yeah, well, some steel beams here. I don't mind. We can just unload them, really, and wait for the other ship to arrive now. Um, I think my main fleet, we could actually pull back again to Panagos. And in Panagos itself, can we build? Yep, I would like to build another royal galleon. That's pretty important. And with that, continue our journey then to uh, getting more building materials over here because we really want to fortify everything out of Tovi here. There is my Pir... What, what is that? Pirtilo coming in? Do it, please. And get me those building materials. We need them. And what I can see is there is... Yeah, we're actually rather safe here at the moment. I'm going to upgrade that trading post here once. And then we can just go crazy now with the flamethrowers. A bunch of them, right? And we're probably going to set them... Yeah, I mean... She's most likely going to attack from this side. There's also the pirate base. She's really not on good terms with the pirate. But we're, we're still going to, to pop it in like that, right? I'm trying to get as, as much as possible. I think we can do four for now, or only three, because we're running out of bricks then. No, four it is, yes. That was a right calculation. Let's get this back home, because we need more, right? I definitely need more, more bricks. We need more weapons. Uh, let's actually get more bricks as a primary source and then the steel beams. Oh yeah, there is a, a battleship over there in my in my area. And unfortunately we're also going to lose that frigate with lots of weapons on board. 
I might just... That, that is just some loot though, right? That we found, I think. Uh, let's get this over. We have a ship with no loot there at the moment. There it is. Yeah, with the battleships, it's a problem because we're losing the sea... The sea chance here, or the... A realistic chance to fight with my with my battleships with my my wooden ships there on the ocean because of course the battleships are just going to be superior in any way all right uh, salt peach and sand mines nope that's not really something yeah as always i was expecting it it's getting harder and harder to really get chef michelle with so many items in the pool but i still will need to try as long as possible we have the money we have almost 50k on the income so i might also push this further by trying to get a few more few more shares here so princess jing actually is is fine um the cool thing is we get the money back every time they purchase back the shares right so while i while i keep the share i just profit from the from the income there so that's nice all right we rescued the weapons and some bricks there as well most bricks were lost though as it seems and some or most weapons actually were rescued what is the Admiral? Look at that. The Admiral is in full force in Tovi. <laughs> Let's get away from there. The thing is, he can't overtake the island at the moment because we still have the 26 minutes of white flag mode now. But look at that. We need to get out there, of course. My ships can get attacked. And while he's in the area, we're not going to push in here. So let's rather get back to the safety of my, my main harbor there. By the way, my main, main harbor, is it is looking safe, you think? I think we need war more cannons then as well all right back to panagos though because we still have some stuff to do here now um the first thing is panagos development the first thing is that i need to get cracking now on my fur production again this is actually what i need to do asap holy cow he's got more ships coming in all right i think the admiral might might have his turn now and <laughs> try to attack panagos he would be the third now in a row and then probably Princess Ching has built up her ships again. Oh yeah, she's already on the move again. Oh, I hope they're not combining forces now. Ah, yes, it could be. It could that they combine forces. Um, I will need more. I will need more cannons here. What can we do? Let's move the, the sand mines. I mean, over there we have more sand mine production. Right, so I'm going to have two two more here so i can get rid of that one and this will allow me to build more flamethrowers than in this region too all right then we're actually out of weapons that should be better of course we also have the ability to build them on land uh, have we unlocked this the mounted gun we have for the land we have the the cannon tower for land defense now so i might also build me up a smaller uh, defense plateau up there oh look at that he's coming in yeah the admiral is coming in in full attack now let's move the ships further in because we need to protect them yeah but there's so many flamethrowers now his ships are really sinking quickly and i think he's thinking twice about the whole endeavor now <laughs> who knows what he's uh, trying to do there. Hopefully he's not waiting for Princess Ching to also come in at the same time now. Because that would be really problematic then. Yeah, it's tough times out there really. Another ship down. There might be something for us, so let's just risk it. And get the loot from it. Alright, I can get at least 10 hunting cabins out there for now. Until I get my building resources over, right? So until then, we can at least start with the whole production again. Um, 10 farmers each, we might actually boost them then just up. To get us in a bit more. There would be 6 on that side here. And that's 8. A little bit further up there, I think. We're going towards 10 now. I'm definitely going to need another warehouse then as well to provide. Alright, I think we can actually do this already. Let's build all of them. 
so they can start up their production. And as I said, I might consider boosting them to 50. Hmm, they're producing how much again? All right, that would be 10. We do need, I think, 20 though. All right, was it 20? Oh, it's 12 only. That's fine. We're almost there. I could just tinily boost it a bit. Come on, you can't be that unhappy with it. To 15%, that would lead to 11. It should actually be 12. Probably 11.5. Something like that. All right, now we're at 13, so we have that again. But now Princess Ching comes in. And the Admiral is still also in my city perimeter here. Um, yeah, I just need to wait there, really. For them to disappear again. I think they're going to disappear again. All right, so the fur has been met again. And we can continue a bit with our city building. Because we really, really need to continue with a few more districts. Um, I'm going to keep this available, as I already said. We might go ahead... Oh, okay, fishermen, they attack now. That's okay. Yeah, I think this is my next point of interest here for the next um, city district. We have a bunch of lumberjacks and sawmills here in the region. So I'm just going ahead. I'm just going to move them further away from us. Um, this is my industry zone up here. It's going to take a while before we build any palace, so I can just have my timber production up there for now. And, of course, we want to get more timber in, so two more sawmills we can also easily provide up here then. Or this area. Hmm, or should we have it here? Yep, they still get their 100% share out of it. And I'm not really taking my time here building that up too much because I know we are going to move them again at some point. Also, also we will not be requiring that much timber all the time. With that, we have a bit more space. Let's get rid of the warehouses here. Let's get rid of the sawmills here. And then we just need to decide... Oh, we also got some ruins up there. And then I will just need to decide where... Oh, this also we can move. Right, so this is a smaller industry zone. I might have this a bit further up there. We can just easily take it over. And it really will take some time before we need to move that again. But since there's a lots of, of lots of schnapps distilleries, we might not even need them for that much longer than soon as well. So that should be fine for now. They have the connection. The pepper, of course, is going to disappear at some point soon. Once I get my Chef Michel and... Then we have this whole area now available for some city building again. I might consider, first things first, the fleets. Ah, now Miss Hunt is also here. <laughs> so Toby taking up really has shaken them, right? It seems, because they all visit and just make sure, was this really happening? Yes, it was. We still have 19 minutes on the clock. And I gotta say, it's really interesting. I haven't played with these settings yet, right? With the, the triple alliance against us on, on this map. And the dynamics are just really interesting. Of course, it's the same AIs mostly, but they behave differently. And visiting this island now is really something new for me. All right, so we have up here now the triple road. This is going to be a main district. So I might even consider making this a quadruple road. Or we have here the main road um, that continues then over here and we probably will make a connection then with that or here somewhere. I think this is better. It all really depends on how we make it here. I think we could also just make it here. It's a bit close to the mountains though, but that is fine to me. Yeah, it's fine. You have a bit of a panorama then as well. Then we have this chapel. Let's move this a bit further over here, closer to the to my to my tracks. We might actually keep a bit of bit of a distance there. And then we do need, of course, another marketplace and pop. And then yeah, we can just go ahead here and building us a few more residences now that we can squeeze in then here. All right, another smaller attack. Really just a small attack. He's not even sending in his full force there. Just a few things that we can loot. Island is 
I'm just glad they didn't attack all at once, though it shows us the danger, of course, because if they do, um, we might have a trouble. We might have a problem there, even with uh, that many uh, defenses, right? Let's also build all the cannon towers there. We're under siege again. Siege is always problematic because it's, my people don't like it and it causes riots. And I think they're also going to leave now, yep, to V alone, so we can move some more ships over again with building materials. That's my clipper especially. Now let's get the loot from the Admiral. Perhaps there is an item here that we might look at. And Piotilo, you can also take a turn once again. Oh, we're looking bad there on the workers. There you go. Oops, and let's get some more timber especially. We will need some windows and concrete for a commute pier once more, right? And yeah, let's just take a hundred there and also a hundred of the bricks once more and get this over there too, because four flame for us are not going to cut it uh, for this one. All right. And once again, I could also have a look at this one, re-rolling a couple of times before it gets a bit too expensive there. Always takes a bit of time to get to the, the legendary items popping up. But once they do, there's usually always almost one. Oh, hospital, those are a good one. Unfortunately, nope. Uh, we can use some of the money we have to further boost our income there with some shares. Princess Ching still, we have that share. And of course, we should check out why my workers are unhappy right now. There's probably something... Oh yeah, <laughs> the fish is, mi is missing. This, of course, I can understand. The problem is, though, right now that we're on the siege and I cannot repair those fishermen. So I will need to quickly build me a few more. I think we can just build them. I cannot repair, but I can build new ones. Because we need to get that fish in again. My workers don't like it one bit if that vital material is missing. Alright, at least the ships get back there. Look at that, we are down to 83 influence only. Hmm. And with that, we can get the commute pier out there again. Let's have it over there just. By the harbor to share the workforce. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> and let's get us a few more out. And this is really going to be just for production of that. We of course also have some two iron and one coal, also a limestone deposit that we could use then, that's fine. But of course the majority of my energy on Toby is going to be dedicated to defenses primarily. I think we might be yep, out of weapons now, so that's something. Get the ships back home. Weapon production is of course in full swing still, and we should be looking at, yeah, 40 tons again. Still we need probably a bit more. I mean, we are boosting them already. Workforce problem is troublesome at the moment, but that should be a thing of the past. There it is, perfect. Going up again as my, my fishermen are working once more. Dangerous position they have, because they're probably getting raided quite a bit on that side of the coast. But that's a price we have to pay. I can't defend that coastline here too. It's not. It's really not possible. What I can do is though... Yeah, well, we can go ahead and build us a few more... A few more blocks of houses here. Um, let's actually make a nice proper... Let's not have it too close there to the tracks. Oh yeah, we can do this. Like so. And probably a road here along the tracks too. Connecting with that upper road that we have still. And yeah, here we actually just go ahead with some blocks of houses. A nice smaller neighborhood over there, perhaps. Yep, 
a few more buildings over there uh, we can have now here we're probably going to keep this area available for service buildings and stuff like that so that leaves me with uh, this area here still available we could add some bigger blocks like that too good thing is we can totally decide on the the range of this so i could go up to that level there or i could also go down to that level and that means i can at least squeeze in some two rows here again of houses to make a high density block out of this one um and then probably also some courtyard ones here i would like to have a smaller road here too smaller double road in between and we can keep then those areas av available there as well probably also for a park or something like that that we might then have here yep i like the idea of this let's actually keep this area available for a park and have around it then some high quality blocks of houses like this one um and here we can also go for a high density one and then we have this area available there too that i don't want to reserve for the moment enough buildings anyway uh let's go ahead and build all of them that's 300 tons of timber we can use like that this is totally fine for me. I don't mind one bit. And those people are going to take a while now to move in. And once that happens, we can continue onwards here. There is already another plague appearing. Um, and the siege is gone as well. So that means we can rebuild those fishermen. It's fine to have a bit of a surplus production here for the moment. Because let's face it, we do need to have some reserve storage there. It's actually not looking that great on the fishes, right? It's only a plus seven. I thought we would be having more. So I could go ahead and copy me uh, this this fishery here as well on that side and i think for that i will need another warehouse at least until the moment i can actually fully import fish then from another island or also from the docklands who knows about that really uh, yeah and also we do need a new trade right now active again this would be my full trader so campion um, is already waiting for this and in tow v we should be having now all the fur again so 150 we're actually capped on that perfect and campion off you go i'm going to just keep the the clipper on this for now because the clipper we can easily replace um, i really don't want to use one of my royal galleons on, on a risky trade rod like this uh, we got a few weapons from the admiral there and some building materials and i think also some of them yep there it is some 50 tons of weapons Get over to Toby. That's great because with that we can build another flamethrower at least. All right, I'm going to send my ship back home though, as I don't think it would survive that long over there. And we got some 23 weapons in that on that ship. Some pocket watches there. Uh, let's just yeah unload them because they will give me a nice temporary boost to my balance at least until I have my own pockets there again. Uh, pocket watches. And yeah, let's let's pull it actually full with another 100 tons of weapons we get over to Toei. That would mean four more flamethrowers. Uh, we should have everything. Might also get me some more bricks. And look at the steel beams. I love it how many steel beams we have right now. Capping constantly. We probably should do something on the upgrade side. Um, and I know we were able to upgrade actually the engineers. The thing is though, I don't want to upgrade them just yet. Because reaching investor level will probably trigger something in the ai opponents again that i just can't risk at the moment now this district is over here now here we make actually the connection then with with that farmland that we have just over there now let's continue with the triple road then into this territory and along here we can then actually just go ahead and build us a few more houses uh oh i should also probably build those otherwise we might face some trouble down the road with uh, unhappiness and stuff like that uh, let's go ahead and yeah this is actually fine because it connects just fine with my double road that we have there too and a bit of structure never really hurts and then we have another high density block over there connecting with this triple road again this will look great once we start upgrading the roads then and also add the ornaments and i know some of you really really are angry with me for not building um, parks right away when I say I want to build them so we might also go ahead and just have some beautification along the way um, here for example we could have a smaller city park just need to get rid of that fire station we don't really need to have it that close in the city itself and those uh, smaller parks I just love to build them also with all the fences that we have now we got a lot of options here we could actually make a smaller Chinese garden or yeah we could also a Japanese garden out of this and I think that might be fine because back then this was a really popular thing especially once we enter the engineers right so we could use this type of ornament um with 
So the, the Enchanted Garden right with the Enchanted Gate. Actually, I do need more slots for that. I haven't built that so often, so this is fine. All right, there we have the, the gates and the ornaments, giving me some attractiveness there too. Thank you very much. And then we can go ahead and have some paving here, entering these walls. And for some reasons, the paving is gone. <laughs> Cannot click on that. Interesting stuff, right? As the paving disappears under the uh, be, uh, below the gate, I think I need to get rid of the gate. Now I can build the pavement, and now I can build that again. Okay, this is definitely not really fully intended, but now it's working. With a few statues and of course a fountain. I haven't found the Chinese fountain yet. I think I might still need to unlock it. But this is looking just as fine to me. Having this one in here, a little cozy retreat. Um, we might actually turn it down on the pavements too, as these trees have pavements of their own still. We can have this for, for the moment over there. Nice little retreats that you can have for your population. And then of course we still have all these empty patches as well, where we can add some trees and stuff like that. Um, as well. Actually, I think this would... no. And finally, with the engineers, we also have the enclosed greenery. That is something I really like as an ornament. And then also a smaller fountain somewhere here. For these entrances. Giving the city a bit more character overall. And with that, we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned!